Hello, hello again, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. I don't own any rights to the music can in the background. Also, I may use the pronouns he, she, her, him. I'm not speaking about actual males and females. I am speaking about masculine and feminine energy. Okay, so this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If I'm saying this, it's your person and you feel like it's you, feel free to switch yourselves around in the world. Put yourself where you go in a story. One last time for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome, but this is for Leos. Name the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can I get three cards for Leo and I need to leave jump? What's going on with Leo's right now for the month of November? Thank you. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, I have rest and rejuvenate. So I do feel like you guys have probably taken some time out. Um, possibly, you know, retreated from around other people. To, to take some time for yourself here. You could possibly be getting out into nature, possibly going to parks, or if you live near the woods, um, taking walks out in the woods, possibly meditating in the woods, or sitting in the grass meditating here. Um, the first card we have for you guys is Choose Wisely. So I do feel like there are a few choices and options you guys have coming in your direction, okay? The second card we have here is Obstacles and Challenges. I do feel like... Um, Having to make this choice is is becoming a, a obstacle or some sort of challenge here for you. But I do feel like with the last card, which is light, that you're getting some type of enlightenment about this situation or which way to go here. I do feel like you've been meditating, you've been talking to spirit, talking to God, talking to the universe about which way to go, trying to get guidance here. Um, and I do feel like you're getting the information, the downloads that you need so that you can move forward. I do feel like whatever this is, whatever this choice um, that you have to make here, it's not as big as you feel, okay? Um, if you look here in this card, you see it's really just like a step. If this person, this person doesn't know, you know what I'm saying, they're walking that it's really not that far. If they just take the step, they'll be there to the other side, you know what I'm saying? Um, and when I see this card, you probably can't see them, but... These are little angels in these lights here, okay? So these are your, your ancestors, your spirit guides around you, guiding you, protecting you, letting you know that as you make this choice, you are divinely guided um, to listen to your intuition about which way to go here, okay? And if you're feeling really confused, spirit is saying, get out into nature, meditate so that you can make a, a wise decision here. So you can um, sit down and reevaluate all the options if there's any type of contracts or anything like that make sure you read all the fine print here okay this is for leo sun moon rising i do feel like you may have a couple of options as well in love here and you're unsure about who to choose which way to go But I also feel like you're getting enlightenment in that situation as well here. I do see you um, awakening here. I see you connecting to spirit. I see you um, elevating and healing your heart as well here. So I do feel like you've um, been doing a lot of work on yourself here, Leo, okay? One last time for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's just choose wisely for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit. Choose wisely. What's the choose? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so Spirit is saying that, you, like I said, I felt like you had a few options here in love, okay? Um, you may even have up to five different people to choose from here. Spirit is saying, use your intuition. Also, follow your heart. Um, there is one here in this out of these connections 
that you do truly feel like you have a love connection with here, okay? Um, I don't know if you can see the little guy here. He's sitting here. He's meditating. He's talking to God about which way to go, okay? So Spirit is saying use your intuition, pray, and wait for the answer. Listen to your gut. Follow your gut about which person to choose in this love relationship here, okay? And the lover's card is also my 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 card of making a choice, having to choose. So you possibly do have to choose between two lovers or more lovers, you okay? So can I get one more card for this? Choose wisely and the lovers. Okay, you could possibly be dealing with a fire, I mean not a fire sign, excuse me. Dealing with a Pisces here or a Scorpio, okay? Um, there also could be some type of deception here. Leo, okay, but um, your choice could be between a Scorpio and a, a Pisces here. What's the obstacles and the challenges? Yeah, the Queen of Cups, okay, so this is Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Like I said, the choice could be between them two because the Queen of Cups popped out and it crossed the moon here, okay. Um, but I do feel like one of these two. Is there some deception, okay? So one of the people that you have to choose be between, there's some type of deception. They're they're deceiving you in some type of way. Um, and the other one I feel like is coming, when they tell you about their love, it's legit. It's, it's sincere here. What's the obstacles and challenges here? Yeah, someone is stuck, okay? So I feel like, Leo, you're stuck between two, okay? You're stuck between having to make a choice between these two. Now, it doesn't have to be um, Scorpio and Pisces. This could just be someone that you um, have a lot of emotions for, and you're stuck between the two people, okay? And that's the challenge. The challenge is you don't know which way to go, who to choose, who to pick. Can I get one more card for the world? Hmm? Yeah, it's kind of causing a lot of confusion here, um... Like I said, there could be uh, a lot of competition here. There's more than could be more than two, because there there's several people here fighting, competing to um, get up to the top here to get to this fire here, right? To you, to Leo, right? They're fighting, they're fighting over each other, pulling each other down, trying to get to the to the fire sign here, the Leo here, okay? Um, but I do feel like you're stuck in trying to decide who. To deal with or who to put your time and energy into, okay? But I do feel like there is going to be some type of enlightenment here coming in soon, okay? You're going to get some type of clarity, some type of truth. Something that is going to allow you to see the truth so that you can move forward. Spirit, once again, is saying use your intuition, okay? Um, meditate so you can get the answers. You do have a new beginning here, right? A new beginning. In a, in a spiritual union here, right? A soulmate union coming in. One of these people are your soulmate. Or is your soulmate, okay? What is this light here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Huh. Look, water again. You, you, <laughs> there's. A, I feel like this person you're dealing with is a water sign, okay? Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Leo, you're dealing with a water sign. It's so much water here. This is someone who has a lot of emotions, right? But they're not really showing them. Um, they're holding back. So this person could possibly have a lot of emotions for you, but they're holding back. Or you have a lot of emotions for someone, and you're holding back because of um, being stuck within all this competition and not knowing which way to go here, not knowing who to choose, okay? What is this light here? What's the light? Thank you. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups, another water sign. All this water, all this emotion, all this love here. Um, someone wants a romantic beginning here. Someone wants a romantic connection. Someone could possibly want to send you a text message. Or you could possibly want to send someone a text message. Someone could um, want to go on a, possibly on a romantic picnic or some type of day, possibly buy some water here. You could possibly want to send someone flowers, or someone could possibly want to send you some flowers, Leo. Um, possibly could want to go horseback riding or something with a horse here. But this is someone, um, this is you being enlightened to the romantic true one, okay? This is you getting the truth about which one is for real. The one that's not being deceptive here, okay? 
Can I get one more card for this this Knight of Cups and this light? Yeah. The Tower moment is having to choose. Having to make a choice here, okay? Um, I do feel like you have feelings for both of these people here. And this is what's making it so hard to choose. But I do feel like one of these people um, is being deceptive here, okay? There's some deception here. And the hard, the hardest part about this is is choosing, making the change, okay? Choosing which one to go. You have to make a choice. You can't keep playing or being stuck in between the two here, okay? Can I get one more card for the Knight of Cups in this tower here? The Knight of Cups in this tower on top of this light. I don't know. That's too many. I just need one. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Knight of Cups in the tower. You could have possibly been enlightened already about um, who the deceptive person is here. And you walked away and caused this tower moment. Look, here we go. We have the Empress over here who just popped out. Um, this is Wifey here. This is the nurturing one. This is the one who um, shows you the love, not just tells you. They... they they nurture you. They give you this love. The the They show you. You know what I'm saying? They don't just tell you. Okay? So, I feel like you know who this person is, the Okay? The one you should choose is the one that's very nurturing, loving, um, mother or father type figure. They could possibly have kids be a mother or a father to some children here. But they're very loving, nurturing, caring. They, they really give a concern about you. They love you. They show you the love as well. Okay? I feel like you've had some time apart from this person here. Some time to, to heal yourself, to get back on your feet, or to, with this rest and rejuvenate, to heal your emotions here, to move forward. To have, You've been thinking, okay? I do feel like you possibly have moved away from both of these people or this group of people to, to, to oh, excuse me, you guys, Mercury retrograde. Um, you possibly have moved away from these people to try to get some clarity on which way you need to go. I'm trying to see the truth of the matter here, okay? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, Spirit, so what is this here? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The love, thank you. Yeah, the King of Cups again, right? <laughs> Look, the, you guys are dealing with a water sign. I don't care what you say. Or this person has a lot of water in their chart. This person is head over heels or you are head over heels in love with this person, okay? But, yes, this person has a lot of emotions, a lot of love for you, Leo. You have a lot of love for this person as well. You know who to choose. The Spirit is telling you to choose wisely. You okay? Go with the one that is showing you the love. Go with the one who is expressing the love. The one that is not just talking and trying to take. The one that is giving here as well. Okay? Can I get one more card for this? Thank you. Yeah. You've been defensive about this. Okay? You've been guarded about this relationship. Okay? But... You want reconciliation. I feel like this person wants reconciliation. This could possibly be someone from your past. Or this is a soulmate type relationship here. Once again, I see these flowers, okay? You could possibly want to go towards this person and bring them some flowers here. This person wants to come towards you and bring you some flowers. But they feel like you're defensive or you feel like your person is going to be defensive. Okay? And that's possibly what this challenge is. Coming forth to, to heal the situation... But they're afraid that someone is going to be guarded and defensive here. Whether that's you towards your person or your person towards you. What is this world in reverse and the five of wands here, spirit? The world in reverse and the five of wands. Okay. So your person could possibly be feeling that you're guarded or you feel like this other person is guarded, okay? Um, after some type of heartbreak and, and this could be, be, oh, excuse me, this could be between you, Leo, and your person, right? Um... You could possibly feel like your person is guarded, been hurt, you could have hurt them, or your person hurt you. Just put yourself where you go in the story. But someone is guarded, and they 
<laughs> the guarded. Look, the guarded here with the 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 uh, seven of wands and this queen of swords. This is someone. Look, she got her sword up. Okay, and I feel like this is what the challenge is here. You're afraid to move forward because you're afraid of this guarded and and what type of conversation you're going to get from this relationship here or from this person here but you do want to come reconcile this relationship or your person wants to come reconcile with you but they're unsure um if you're going to be accepting or you're unsure if this person is going to be accepting here okay but you do want to come make it right and that's what this challenge is you're stuck about moving forward what are they're stuck about moving forward here what is this knight of cups and the king of cups here for leo sun moon rising and venus huh Look what's crossing it. <laughs> Look, somebody doesn't want to end this, okay? What's crossing it is the death card, ending in a new beginning, okay? They're, they're <laughs> either you don't want this situation to be ended and over with, and you want to come back and fix it, or your person doesn't want this situation to be ended and over with, and they want to come back and fix it with you here, okay? But, um... This is what's crossing the situation. Someone is afraid to move forward to speak. But if they don't move forward, this situation is going to be completely ended here, okay? What's this Knight of Cups here and the King of Cups? Look. <laughs> and here goes the King of Swords crossing this Queen of Swords, which is a divine couple here. The soulmate that I already said on top of the Six of Cups here, which is the soulmate card here, okay? Um, Either you or your person, either way is afraid to come speak up. They're, that's what the problem is, coming forth. They're stuck. Caught in their fear of moving forward to fix this, but they want to fix this, okay? So someone needs to get out of their head. Whether it's you or your person, they need to get out of their head and come forward, okay? What's the um the tower here? Yeah. Somebody walked away, and someone is afraid now to come back, cause, but they want to come back and reconcile. They're just afraid that when they come back, they may not be um, greeted with open arms here, okay? But they don't want this situation to be ended or over with here, okay? But someone walked away, moving away from this turbulent relationship to something calmer here. One last card for my Leo Sun Rising and Venus for this tower. Thank you. Yeah, somebody doesn't want this relationship to be over here, okay? And the tower moment was the fact that someone left it. Somebody actually walked away and, and put an end to it. And I guess the other person didn't think they were. Now they want to come back and fix this relationship here. Okay, Leo? Or you want to go forward and fix the relationship with someone here. And, and <laughs> they want to heal it with the sun at the bottom of the deck. Best card in the deck. Okay, so... Either you want to heal the situation or someone else wants to heal this situation. But this is somebody from the past that wants to come back and reconcile. Or this is someone um, you want to go back and reconcile with, okay? They walked away or you walked away from this relationship, this commitment here. And they want to fix it. They don't want it to be over. So, Leo, we're going to leave it there until next time. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you'd like to book a personal or to leave a donation, all the information is down below in the description box. And until next time, my people's love, light, and peace.